okay in this video i want to show you how to get uh, or load your videos from files from webcams uh, ip cameras and also the last we will see how to do it uh, using some libraries to get videos from youtube the the code with it will be in this repository in github so let's start with programming our small script that will we use for the next and um, during this time so uh, okay let's first import uh, our libraries numpy as numpy and we will create our capture i will use a video capture capture tool from opencv okay this will be for files video files video files <clears throat> as you can see i already created my video of, mm, uh, script but it's empty so i'm we are created so it's already created the, the python script so and and also i have and this file so it's the name is drone and it's mp4 format so i will put the name here drone and before so all right let's do our loop if, if that is true we'll do red and get our frame from the capture retreat all right and then i want to show the 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 bit the frames with imshow imshow has two parameters one is the name of the windows that where it will be displayed the video coming uh, output and then frame then let's create uh, some uh, uh, variable to to attach to some key in the keyboard wait that it will be checking every 10 milliseconds which key is pressed in the keyboard let's add this address also if in a case k is equal to 27 so it breaks the program so it's closed it closed the window so now let's capture capture let's release destroy all window these commands are always should always goes at the end so that completes our program so that is that is our small script um, so let's try using this one all right so this is my window the window that we already created so with the name output output it's calling the video drone so this is the name so it should be correctly and also um, the path the directory part should be next or near or you should just put the directory part where your file is is so this is so if we press escape so it close the window so we don't have any error in the shield right now this is for video files now let's now get videos from webcams for example webcam let's do a comment here now for webcam the easiest way is just to write a um, number zero or one i'm using two webcams so one is internal of the laptop let's see what i i get from it yeah this is me so this is output this is a real video okay let's close it but also i have another external so just we should change if depending on how many devices you have already connected for example i will choose number zero 
that it will be another webcam that I have that, that is already connected by a USB port so it's very much uh, I mean pretty much more uh, has more clear image so that's why I prefer that so you can choose by default default one zero or two if you have many webcams already connected okay we are just waiting for the connection the webcam is sometimes a little bit busy I use, I don't use to I use uh, I, I don't use it too much so it's already okay so we have here so this is the, the output so it's a little bit um, it's, it's quite good okay so this is for webcam so now if you have an IP camera let's see and your network local network connected so you and you but you have the IP address and so it will be more easy also OpenCV it can take the or load from that source of IP cameras for example I have an IP camera that's right now uh, running in the server so this is the IP address um, 81 okay but the way how you you should call it it's just typing this way like if like a, an, an, a link and let's close it here so with using the link of the IP camera and adding this uh, HTTP the address so we were able to see all right this is this is me so next to me there is a server with the webcam it's running so the, it has um it's doing a streaming video so it's a little bit uh, slowly it has latency so it's okay okay let's close it so this one is for IP cameras okay so now we wanna uh, do it for YouTube we will finish with that so let's see YouTube video all right but for YouTube video you we need uh, another extra library that is payful uh, okay uh -huh. if you don't have this you you can just in, use pip pipe 3 in, in my case python 3.6 install payful but later also you should install f3 install youtube dl dash youtube dl so this one is very important you should also install also this one you should also install by windows and linux it it works so don't worry about it so this one is very important so let's continue now we want to define some parameters we'll start with URL. we should put here link video youtube video right here and then also then we should create another parameter using the library and that it will get our uh, URL on the link of the video and then let's define um, get best that type of the video I mean the format type equal mp4 all right and then okay with that being done so um the lastly you should add this another code at the end with the name of capture and that it will allow you instead to just read 
from the sources the program will read from the last line so it is open bit url l okay okay it should be work so but we need first a video from youtube let's check i have already a video right here i'm from youtube i will copy this okay that's enough i will call the um, link so now i will try if it works it's all right it take time sometimes but i don't know if maybe i have some mistake no everything it's okay let's check them out well this one should be zero so that's why uh, i mean it should be empty nothing here so that's why it wasn't running so be careful with this all right now we have a video it's too fast i mean the speed of the video it's it's not good so just you should add here maybe increase the value the delay 24 and you will see that the video now is quite good let's see all right now it's a normal speed i think so i hope this video can be helpful for everyone who are trying to do some project using many different sources uh, video sources from that we mentioned it before so please don't forget just be careful with this don't put anything here so that's why it doesn't work so this okay this script will be in the repository so you can check and use it in your project i hope this video can be helpful for everyone thank you